Maya. Um, I just wanted to make you a little demonstration video on how to use uh, Marvin Sketch. Um, it's a very awesome little piece of software that only takes a little while to learn if you're willing to go through the shenanigans of downloading it. Um, and you are probably better with technology than me, so um, you probably won't have as hard a time. Uh, and it may look different if you have a Windows computer, but um, Marvin Sketch, once you download it, should be wherever your applications are. So I'm just going to open it up. And I'm going to pick one of the practice problems from the nomenclature homework you had to just kind of show you how you can check after you've already practiced um, your homework answers. And so um, I'm just going to pick um, one from page two, the one with the amide group. Um, and if, I numbered it number 20. Um, I went through and numbered them. So uh, I'm going to show you how to draw it, talk about how to name it, and then we're going to check it. So um, this is where you pick your bonds. Um, undo, redo, you can erase. Um, these are your common elements. And if you want something other than these common elements, you would go to Atom, Periodic Table, and pick in, or pick, um, Whichever one you, whichever uh, atom you wanted, make sure it's highlighted before you hit close, and then you can just put it in there. Um, and they ha have a great little thing, also that kind of checks the validity of what you have um, put in, check structure. And this just shows that you haven't like violated any octet rules or anything like that. It doesn't guarantee that you drew it incorrectly. You have to double check against your drawing. But, you know, this kind of shows you didn't put five car five bonds on carbon or anything crazy. So, um, just wanted to show you that cool little trick. And um, so I'm going to go ahead and draw one of the practice problems. So I'm going to hit, and these are the different bonds you can have. Um, I'm just going to hit single, nothing complicated. And um, I'm gonna, I just like to start by building what um, the, by building the chain. So um, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. So in this particular example, there's an amide here. And I want to see this green dot so that way I don't do anything crazy like this. And if I do something crazy like this, I can undo it. And then if I do it really wrong, then I can go to File, New, Clear Desk to get a whole new white screen to start over if I feel like that's what I need to do. Um, so there's an amide group here. There's also a methyl group. Oops methyl group. And this one is a ketone. So there's a C double bond O here. So I'm just going to pick the double bond. Oops. It's not quite how I wanted it. There we go. Oxygen. Put it right here. All right. So naming ketones, right? This is obviously a ketone because there's no H here. Um, in Dr. Weimer's slides that I forwarded to you, there is a list of priority by what functional group takes precedence when you're naming. So make sure you look at that last slide. Here we have um, a ketone, so the ending is going to be O and E. And if we count the number of carbons that has to include the ketone in the parent chain, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So um, it's going to be hexan. 2, because we're on carbon 2, we have to give it the lowest number. Um, and the great thing is you can also insert text, insert text, to kind of um, take your own notes, so to speak. So right now, um, 6 carbons, right, um, with a ketone on carbon 2. And so we have this kind of base name right now of um, hex and oops, 
to, um, that's what we have right now. We're not finished because obviously we have to include our um, other, other groups in here. And so we have an ethyl, we have on C3, give it a little bit more space. C3 has an ethyl, a methyl, excuse me, methyl group. C3, C4, C5 has an amide. Which is going to be um, amino. And so what is this going to be when we bring it all together? And so um, we have hexan 2 own. And we know for a more organic one that we have to do this in alphabetical order, not necessarily in the order of which carbon it is. And so we're going to have um, five amino because A become, comes before M, three methyl hexan two because our ketones on carbon two. Own, spelled like one, but um, is um, indicative of the ketone. And so now we're going to check it. So let's go to file, import name, and I didn't put in all the dashes. Um, depending on how picky your instructor is, you may or may not want to make sure you do that. So let's compare. 5 amino, 3 methyl, hex, and 2 own. And so um, if you need to change the structure in any way, like if you need to put in a double bond, you can do that by just, um, like if you need to put in an additional bond, you would just do it like that. And then of course you would go through the same naming thing and then you would import your, um, the name. And um, remember with double bonds, you can have E versus Z. Z is it on the same side. Try to remember that. Um, but uh, and remember to. It's a very good idea to do the checker just to make sure you haven't violated any octet rules or anything like that. So I just wanted to give you a basic overview in case I didn't see it tonight. And I hope this is somewhat helpful for checking your um, nomenclature for your um, practice number twelve.